Hello, welcome back to another Mac tutorial. In this Mac tutorial, I'm going to show you how to remove the white background from images. Now, I've been trying to use do it in GIMP, and I'm finding in GIMP, if I zoom into this photo, you'll see there it's all white still around the edges. Most of the background's gone, but it's still white around the edges, and I've been looking at ways of doing it. Now, I could click around at the edge there and remove it all. It'd take time. I want to do it simply and quickly. We can do it in the Mac Preview app. So here is a Zoom H2N, and this is the background I want to remove. If I press Open with Preview, and all we do now is press on this one here, which is showing the mark tool, Markup Toolbar. I'm going to click on the Instant Alpha. At this point, I can just click on the mouse, drag it, and then let go. So click the mouse, drag it, let go. And there we go. You can see you've got a lot of marching ants going around. And now what I do on the keyboard is press on Delete, and we're going to press on Convert. You see there, it's now given us no background. So we should have a PNG image. I can then export that as a PNG. So file, export, leave the alpha box ticked and just call it zoom H2N. We're gonna go save, hit replace. And there we go. Uh, we're just gonna go revert, yeah, it should be okay. So there's our image that we've just converted. Let's minimize this. If you go into the GIMP, then do a file, and we're going to go new, just press OK, and drag our image into there. It should load up the background. There we go. It's now loaded up our image without any background. You can do what you need to do to resize it, and so on. And that was how I removed the backgrounds from photographs. Yes, you can use a GIMP. There's loads of ways of doing a GIMP, and at the moment, I'm finding it's far easier to remove the backgrounds using. Uh, the Max own preview app. If you found the video some useful enough to do, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, I suppose the other button seems to work too. But as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.